guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Look Gorgeous for Life. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you some more advanced uh, hygiene on braces. So if you didn't catch my part one, I will link that video around here somewhere or down below of how, uh, like the basics of how to keep your braces clean. But today, I'm going to just tell you a little bit um, more tips um, these things that I use cost a little bit more, but I find that they are like very beneficial to um, save time. And also, I don't know that there's any other way to really get the cleaning that these uh, products, these and these types of products give. So uh, let's get right into it. First of all, I want to show you the toothbrush that I use. Okay guys, this is the toothbrush that I use. I, and it just has like the little like brush head that's like circular and everything. And I find that it does a really good job at polishing like behind the teeth and uh, just all over. So you still want to use it the same way like you would. Like you want to get in there like really good on the top and on the bottom like this. Like really in there. Like get in there okay and then in the back you want to take your time and really let it do the polishing job on the out on the inside because um i mean your braces just get a lot your teeth just get a lot more dirty with braces and polishing them is going to be the best thing to keep um you from getting cavities while you have braces on which is super important you really don't want to get cavities while you have braces on and i like to focus a lot on the backs of the front teeth because I find that my manual toothbrush, it's really hard to like press and like swirl in there good enough to where um, I feel like it's really polished. Um, a little hack for polishing behind your um, teeth um, while you have braces is you can use a Q-tip and just like go in there and just like polish in there. But honestly, I don't think that it gives as good of a clean as an electric toothbrush. I know they're a little bit more expensive, like a lot more expensive than a toothbrush, but I honestly think that the investment is completely worth it, especially when you're already investing so much into your smile. Hey you guys, um, this is the water flosser that I use and it still has a little bit of water in it because <laughs> I just used it not too long ago. I love this thing, I use it all the time. So this water flosser has like a couple of different features. You can read about it. I'll leave a link below on um, where I got this thing. And um, it's called the Water Pick Water Flosser. And I love this thing so much because it's small, it's easily portable, and uh, um, it's got a pretty good reservoir. I mean, sometimes I have to fill it like three or four times, but I don't care. I'd rather have something smaller that fits in my bathroom than something huge that I couldn't carry around with me um, on a daily basis if I really wanted to. And I have done it at times, but um, sometimes time is just uh, too much for me and just getting in and out of my bathroom in the morning is hard to pack this thing away and then take it back out at night. Um, but I do like to have it with me. Um, I don't think that I can get as good of a clean with just like regular um, swishing with water. Um, I mean, I could swish with water like 11 times or something and I still wouldn't get the clean that this gives. It has like a low, medium, and high setting. I usually use it on the high setting um, because it really just like power washes. I mean, that's basically what it does is that power washes in between your braces and gets like all that junk out. Especially with having ligature wires and with power chains, they tend to really give the food um, a home. Like they just give it a place to stay, like kick up your feet. You want to hang around, get up in there. Here's a pillow, you know, um, kind of thing. So this, like it says eviction notice, you're getting a pink slip, like you got to go, right? So I love this thing. And um, the way you use it is, I should tell you how to use it. Cause honestly, I have used this the wrong way before. And I ended up like, like power washing the back of my throat and it really hurt. Like, like I was slightly bleeding and kind of a little bit panicky about it. But um, yeah, you're not supposed to let it like go all the way to the back of your throat. Somehow I did, I don't know, it was an accident, but just be careful with that. Um, like you wanna go underneath 
the brackets, like putting the elbowy kind of part here towards your gums and then letting this thing just shoot like this way. And this has like a cute little braces attachment. So this right here is like a little brush. I don't know if that's in focus, but it's like a little brush right here. And you can really just like get in there and brush and dislodge things while you're doing the little power wash thing. So um, yeah, you just like tilt it over the sink and like you just get in there like this and then you tilt it this way. And you kind of have to lean over a little bit more whenever you're doing the bottom ones um, just because of the way that this thing is shaped and the way that it works. Like you kind of have to sometimes maneuver around the sink a little bit to kind of figure out like how to make the water keep coming out. But you can go in and especially work like around this area um, on the backs, uh, the back of your mouth, because that's where the um, food tends to just want to have a party. Okay. <clears throat> So anyway, that is the water flosser. And I have one more thing that I wanna share with you and I will be right back. Sir, um, one more thing that I would like to add about the water flosser is that it is not a replacement for string floss. Even with the water flosser, you still have to use regular string floss. I mean, the, the threading kind um, that I showed you in the first video, that's the kind uh, that I recommend using but you still have to use the string floss because nothing really polishes in between your teeth as good as a string floss. So um, I would still definitely recommend doing that. When I use a water flosser though, I find that I don't have to use the floss every single day. So I usually use it every other day or at the, um, at the very least, um, every like once every three days, but you still have to use it. I mean, I honestly, Think that even going three days without it is probably not that great of an idea so um, I would at least do it every other day if you are really disciplined and you can handle this then still do it every single day um, I'm just giving you my experiences of how I do it um, but the water flosser definitely helps to clean out all that crud before you get to the flossing the string floss stage Okay, the final thing that I wanted to share with you today are the uh, disposable picks. I got these on clearance from Target. So this is the um, Dentec Easy Brush Interdental Cleaners. And this is a standard size. These are orange. They do come in a smaller size um, that's tight. And I believe that color is green. And then they also come in wide. I have no idea what color that is, but uh, they also come in wide. Now, the reason why I say that these are kind of expensive is because you can go through like two or three of these in one day. And um, it's only a 16 count pack. And this was, even on clearance, it was $3.30. So, I mean, if you're using like three every day, I don't know, do some math for me. Like, how long would that last? Maybe like a week and a half or something or less? Oh my gosh, maybe like a week. I don't know. And honestly, like $3 a week is, I don't know. To me, that's a lot of money. But <laughs> how much for just half a pack? Anyway, this is what they look like. And I do like to carry them around with me. And I use them like after breakfast and after lunch most of the time. Uh, especially if I don't get a chance to brush my teeth because I'm just too busy. And I know it's gross, but sometimes it happens. Um, and so I just have to like try to like find a little corner and like use this really quick so I can get back to work. Um, and as you can see, like the tip is really, um, it's really nice. If you have a tighter, um, like in between your teeth, then you could use the tighter one. But I mean, just to know that this product is out there is really good. So what I like to do is just like go in from like underneath, you want to go in like from your gum line and go forward. Like you don't want to go this way because then you risk, um, like scratching your gums and you're already enough in enough pain like don't do that to yourself okay like so just go like down into it and I find that these work really well if you if you have like a gap or something in between um like your teeth um then these can also like go in between there like I don't know if I really have any more gaps because they're they've done so much shaving that they're pretty like they're pretty tight uh yeah, they're too tight. Um, at the beginning stage of uh, of having my braces, 
um, I did find that I could use these to like go in between my teeth, like actually like this way, like perpendicular, I guess, to my teeth in the middle. And um, they would go all the way through. But now, now I can only use this to go in between the brackets because um, yeah, there's like not any more space. So if anything, we're looking for more space. Um, but yeah, just like doing this little action here is like really, really, really good. And um, these have been so, so helpful to me. So anyway, um, that was the final little thing. Um, they do have like a little cap. So like if you only have one and you like really, really need it um, and you're near a sink, just like wash it really quick and like dry it with like a paper towel and then cover it up and put it like back in your pocket or something. And then you could probably use it again a couple hours later. Um, I wouldn't reuse it too many times though because I mean it is supposed to be disposable. But I mean you can't really think it's too gross because I mean how many times do we like wash our toothbrush, right, before we use it. So just think about that for a second. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this video. That basically wraps it up. Um, I do have a part three to this video and it's going to be like the more advanced from this video and that's going to be the final um, part of this little hygiene series so if you're looking forward to that go ahead and leave me a like drop a comment below if you have any other video ideas for me and um, or if you just want to say hi <laughs> I will say hi back I read all of your comments and I love them so if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click on the link below to subscribe and click the little bell so that you can be notified of the next update or, or whatever um, video that I do. And then it's your decision if you want to watch it, okay? <laughs> anyway, please watch my video. Um, love you so much. See you in the next one. Bye.